What's up guys, my name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. And today we're gonna to do 500 Magnum versus 4570 versus the pine board box. The pine board box holds 41 pine boards that are three fourths of an inch thick. We're going to use pistol and rifle for the 500 Magnum and 4570. And for ammunition, we're gonna be using some Underwood ammo hard cast. For the 500 Magnum, we have some 500 grain hard cast. And for the 4570, we have some 430 grain plus P hard cast. I did chronograph the ammunition that we're using in today's video. I will leave the advertised ballistics and the chronograph readings in the description down below. Okay, we're gonna start out with the pistols and we're gonna begin with the 500 Magnum. I got something to stop them. They made it for him special. It's an 88 Magnum. We're gonna be using a Smith & Wesson Performance Center with a 10 and a half inch barrel. And we're loaded up with the Underwood 500 grain hard cast. And we're gonna be shooting at about seven yards back. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so there's where we hit. And our bullet is right there on the table. And I will not be touching that for a moment because I'm sure it's really hot. <laughs> All right, let's see how many we went through. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, Looks like we hit 18 and broke it. It looks like we just broke 18. It doesn't look like it actually made it through. Let's see if this thing is okay to touch. Didn't really deform much. It's a big piece of lead. Now we're gonna move on to the 4570. We're gonna be using a Magnum Research BFR with a 10 inch barrel. And we have some Underwood ammo, 430 grain hard cast plus P. Okay, so there's where we hit, and it looks like we went through 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and it looks like we stopped on number 15. And there's our bullet. Okay, now it's time for the rifles, and we're gonna use the 500 Magnum first. We have a Bighorn Armory, model 89, with an 18 inch barrel. And again, we're using the Underwood Ammo 500 grain hard cast. Okay, let's see how we did. Let's count the bets and find out. So here's where we hit. And it looks like we went through 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Uh, uh, uh. We stopped on 20. So we went through number 19 and stopped on 20 with the 500 Magnum out of the rifle. And here's the bullet. I found it on the ground next to the table. Okay, now it's time for the 4570. We have a Henry all-weather lever action 4570 with an 18 inch barrel. And again, we're using the Underwood ammo 430 grain hard cast plus P. Okay, so there's where we hit. And it looks like we went through 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And I think we stopped on number 20. Yep. Oh, I can't get that out of there. So the 4570 rifle also stopped on number 20. And I found the bullet in the grass. Again, it bounced off the table and landed in about the same area. Okay, so the 500 Magnum pistol made it through 17 boards. I'm saying 17 because number 18 looked like it broke. It didn't really look like the bullet made it through the board. So 17 boards for the 500 Magnum and 14 boards for the 4570. Then when we went to the rifle, the 500 Magnum and the 4570 both went through 19 boards and stopped on number 20. Pretty interesting results. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. If you're a new subscriber, make sure you hit that little bell at the top. It's going to give you notifications when we upload new videos. I want to give a big thank you to our friends over at Underwood Ammo for supplying us with the ammunition used in today's video. If you want to check them out, 
well, I can't leave a link in the description anymore because it's against YouTube's policies, but you could just Google them or you could go over to KentuckyBallistics.com. You'll find a link to them there along with a discount code for 10% off. And be sure to check out Kentucky Ballistics Clothing and check us out on Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all those are in the description down below. Again, my name is Scott. Thank you for watching Kentucky Ballistics, and I'll see you next time.